Hello everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Bornstead. So today I just wanted to go over taking care of your baby chicks. So these guys range from four days of hatching to two days hatching. Now you'll notice that we have a very shallow lunch tray, like a kid's lunch tray full of rocks. And that is where we keep their water. Now we do this until they're about two weeks old and they can actually drink out of a chick water. This is the best way to keep your babies from accidentally drowning or falling in the water and getting too wet or tipping the water over. If you also notice it's sitting on two logs inside of their container. Now this is full of the large wood chips. If you look down here, I'm offering two types of food. Be very honest with you guys. One is a scratch feed in the bowl to the left. For adult chickens, the one on the right is a quail starter feed. We do not feed our baby chicks medicated chick feed ever for any reason. And we don't buy chick feed. We raise quail. And what we have found is that the quail starter feed has the exact same nutritional value as what they're going to give your baby chicks without the medication in it. We don't have any health problems. We don't have any pasty butts. None of that. Also want to point out, and I'm having to move the top of this, that this is a really large area for 10 small chicks. The heat lamp is down here on this end, giving them plenty of room to get away from the heat if it warms up in here. This is actually a water trough for cattle or horses or goats, see? On top, my husband went ahead and made a frame. And this frame is not really gonna keep rats or mice out, but it will kind of slow them down but it keeps like barnyard cats and, and other critters from getting in on them. Now, something we do here at Starkey Farmstead is in the evening, when it starts to cool off, because you know we're still in February, our fall spring is here, we put this down and we cover the top with this towel. That is to help trap the heat in here with these babies. But I leave the end with the heat lamp open, okay? So some of that heat can come out because this is a very large heat lamp and it really warms up almost too hot for these babies. We have found here at Starkey Formstead, if you'll keep your chicks between 88 and like 93 degrees, they're good. If you get it any hotter than that, they actually get a little lethargic and they will dehydrate quickly. Get it any lower, they'll die from hypothermia. Now this heat lamp is a 250 watt heat lamp. Like I told you guys, it's pretty darn big. So we're giving the babies options on what they eat. We're giving them the space to move around. If they get really cool, they'll go get underneath the heat lamp. But to be honest, not many of them ever go underneath that. They kind of stay on this end, which tells me that heat lamp is a little bit too strong at this time of year in Southeast Louisiana for these baby chicks. But I hope this helps you guys just give you some tips on ways that you can feed them and ways that you can bed them, giving them enough space the great thing about the wood chips is they get to dig in it, which is, you know, they're scratching already, which is a great thing. You want to see that's what a healthy chick does. They don't get tangled in it. It absorbs their poop and pee enough, and it's extremely thick. So they can bed in it. It's pretty soft. And then, like I said, we offer the options of feed down here for them. So if I have any tiny babies, they'll go down here and get into this powder scratch feed. Otherwise, they're going to go after that baby quail food. Either way, make sure you put some rocks in a dish for water that keeps you from having accidental drownings. And guys, it really does happen. So thank you for watching Starkey Formstead. Please like, comment, and subscribe.